editing in Microsoft Word. Welcome to another lesson from Blind Accessibility Tips. Remember that these basic computer lessons are intended for blind and visually impaired persons who use screen readers. You can visit the website at blindaccessibilitytips.com to view these tutorials in text, and you can also use the website to find text and audio downloads that you can purchase for your convenience. Okay, let us start with inserting. All right, so we have some text here on the screen. I know that my cursor is at the bottom of the text, so I'm going to use my up arrow to see what I have written here. You can visit the website to view these lessons in easy to read, step by step text tutorials. Okay, going up again. Blank. A blank line. Blind tips. Blind tips. Blind tips. Okay, that should have been blind accessibility tips, right? So it means that we would want to put accessibility before the word tips. Now I have already navigated to the line with the arrow. You know, from the previous lesson, we uh, learned that using our up or down arrow keys will help us navigate line by line. So I just up arrowed and I got to the very top line that I have in this particular document and it tells me that it has blind tips, whereas it should have been blind accessibility tips. All right, that means we have to navigate to go in front of the word tips, isn't it? Because remember now, the cursor, remember the cursor is that blinking line that every time you move the arrows or so, uh, every time you type, the cursor moves. That cursor is the point or site of insertion. So anywhere that cursor is and you press something, a letter or another character, then it will be inserted there. In this case, I want accessibility to go in front of tips. So I am going to uh, navigate in front of tips. I'm going to navigate word by word. That would be with control right arrow tips it says tips which means that the cursor is now in front of the t or to the left of the t in tips now i can go ahead and type accessibility because that is where i want accessibility to go a c c e s s i b i l i t y and also a space space now, let me use my up arrow to let it read again for me this entire line. Blind accessibility tips. Now it says blind accessibility tips, yes? Accessibility has been inserted and put in the correct place. Okay, let's now look at deleting. We are now in another document, the actual ed editing document, and it has some text. We learned in a previous lesson that you can use the delete key to delete character by character or letter by letter at a time to help you with correcting minor errors that you may have in your document right but now we're going to look at how deleting or using the delete key can actually help us to delete whole patches of text at once all right so let us see um gonna navigate down the text uh reading paragraph by paragraph with my control down arrow blank Going again. Editing in Microsoft Word is essential as you may want to fix, move, or add more text to information. All right, so that's a whole text that's going to read out. Say this particular uh, paragraph, I'd like it to be removed. I don't need to go letter by letter by just pressing the delete key by itself, right? I can actually just select the text and then press the delete key. So let us try that. I'm going to select the entire paragraph with the keys control shift and down arrow we learned this in a previous lesson editing in microsoft word is essential as you may want to fix move or add more text to information that was already typed to go through this topic we are going to call on the knowledge we gained from a previous lesson which taught us how our screen reader interprets cursor position to us as well as the lesson on selection let us go selected and it says selected which is what i'm waiting to hear uh we do know now indeed that it has been selected so i'm gonna press my delete key line feed says line feed that's because what was there before 
has disappeared. It has been deleted. Let me press my control up. Blank. Blank. Let me go back down, control down arrow, because I'm checking paragraph by paragraph to see if that specific paragraph still exists, right? Blank. Blank again, going back, going down once more, control down to the next paragraph. Inserting. Inserting. We didn't get there, which means that the paragraph that was here before inserting has actually been deleted. Okay, now let's look at replacing. We have, you know, gone back into our document and we have back the same text. We're back at the top. Let me press my control home to see if I'm there. Editing in Word. Insertion. Deletion. Replacing. Come. Okay, pressing the control key. So that's the very top of the, the text. Now, I'm going to now show you where whenever you select a body of text, whatever letter or character you then go and press, all of your selected text will be removed and replaced with whatever you begin to type, which is why it is very important that if you select a piece of text to do something and you've finished performing the action that you want you should then use your arrow keys or any of the other cursor control keys that we'll discuss in another lesson Remo use those keys to move the cursor so that will cause the selection to be removed because if you do not take off the selection of that text if you go and press any other letter all of that text will go and be replaced with whatever you begin to type and you don't want that if you never intended that but let us see how it works in here i'm gonna navigate down paragraph by paragraph again to the same paragraph that we had heard before blank editing in microsoft word is essential as you may want to fix okay that paragraph i'm now there i'm gonna select it again select it again using the control shift down Editing in Microsoft Word is essential as you may Okay, I know it's selected. There is going to read out all of it and say it's selected. Okay, fine. Let me just go ahead and type now blind. B L I N D. Selection has actually gone and it's been replaced with blind. I'm going to use the up arrow so that you can hear it. Up. Blank. Okay, that's a blank line that was above the paragraph that we had selected. Now let's come back down to where the paragraph was blind blind see what was there before the entire paragraph has now been replaced with blind now cut copy and paste from time to time it will become important to move our own text when you are editing in microsoft word right so in this case we want to make a copy of our heading and paste it to the bottom of the page now or to the bottom of the document rather copy and paste means that whatever body of text you selected it will remain in its original position and also in the new position in which you pasted it so copying would mean that you would have the same text in two different position in its original position as well as in the new position all right so let me get to the beginning of my document to find my heading by using quick keystroke for you control home editing in word insertion deletion replacing copying and moving good now i'm going to select it because of of course first you must select and i'm going to use the keystroke control shift down r because yes it's a one liner but it will be considered to be a paragraph editing in word insertion deletion replacing copying and moving selected all right great it has been selected now i'm going to use the keystroke for copy Control c copy and it says please note that depending on uh, the version of microsoft word you're using or nvda you might not hear copy you just need to know that you have indeed pressed Control c all right now that i have copied i need to head to the new position in which i would like this the copy of this text to be put and I'm going to go to the end of my document by using again quick keystroke for you control end page two blank and it says page two blank so I'm in a blank space at the very very bottom of my document all right this is where I want to paste my text I'm going to use control V paste and it says paste 
I'm gonna use my down arrow to see if there's any text at the bottom. Blank. Blank. Well, let me go up. Editing in Word. Insertion. Deletion. Replacing. Copying and moving. Good. There it is. It has been pasted and then the cursor apparently went below, right? So we have done the copy and paste. But let us also check. We know it's we know it's down here at the bottom, right? But let's also check the very top to see if it is still in its original position. I'm just gonna use Control Home. Page one editing in Word. Insertion, deletion, replacing, copying and moving. And there it is. It still is in its place. So we have done our control. Uh, sorry, we have done copy accurately. All right, cut and paste now. Cut and paste is a, a little different from copying and pasting. Cut would imply that you are actually moving text from one area to the next. So while using copy and paste would mean that the text will remain in, in its original position as well as also appear in its new position, the cut and paste functions actually make you move text from one area so it will no longer remain in its original position but it will only be found in the new position that you pasted it in all right let's find two words to to cut let me see i'm at the top of my text control home editing in word insertion deletion replacing all copying right gonna and press down blank that's a blank space editing in microsoft word is essential as you may want to fix move or add more text to information that all right so we are now at the third line and it has i'm gonna just select the first two words so i'm gonna select word by word by using Control shift right arrow editing selected editing is selected let me select the other word beside it in selected in all right say we wanted to move these two words from right here we can use cotton so we wanted to move them and place them somewhere else. We can use cut and paste. Now the keystroke for cut is Control X. Gonna do that. Cut. And it says cut. All right. And just for quick reference, we're just gonna paste them again at the bottom of our um, documents. I'm gonna use Control End. Page two blank. That's the position. We found the position blank there's a blank line at the bottom of our document and again since we have already cut the text on the top now we know that we've placed our cursor in the new position that we want the text to go then is when we can perform the action of paste so we're going to use Control v paste and it says paste up arrow editing in word insertion deletion replacing copying and moving okay so that is the text we had copied before let me down arrow editing in editing in those are the two words we had just cut from the top and now they have been pasted down here at the bottom of our of our document all right good so we have performed the action just remember that for copy and paste you must first select of course the the text that you want uh, use either Control x which is for cut and that is if you want to completely move the text or use Control c if you actually want to make a copy of that particular text to go somewhere else after having used Control x or Control c you must then move your cursor to the new position in which you want to paste this text in our case we had just pasted it at the bottom of our document now that not, that might not be your situation you could have wanted to put it in the middle of some line just navigate with your arrow keys or the different reading navigational keys that we had spoken about in the previous lesson find the position that you want the new text to go or the text to go and then you perform paste right and that wraps up another lesson leave a like and comment if this lesson has helped you and please 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 subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already done so we'll see you on the website at blindaccessibilitytips.com